Hey, Wiki Watchers, my name is Dab Boys in the Put, and today, once again, we are joined by you know who, the one and only lovely Akira. So, today, we are watching a Chinese bank heist. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> so this happened in 2006. Wait, how was I? In, how old was I in 2006? I don't know, and I don't care. <laughs> uh, so this happened in Handan, China, October 10th, 2016. <laughs> Come on, Akira, speak! <laughs> what do you want me to say? Okay, 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 wait, hold on, hold on. So, on the screen right now, we've got land and the ocean with a red dot in the middle. That is correct. Are you happy now? That mark represents Handan, China. China? China! <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, oh, in 2006. let's see what happens and how they get away with millions and millions of yen. 2006. It was getting dark. The vault manager of the Agricultural Bank of China was on edge. He was afraid. He felt something wasn't quite right. Yes, there were two security guards patrolling the grounds which made him feel safer. But as vault manager, he needed to be sure himself. He checked the printer room, the conference room. There was no one there, no sign of trouble. Then he entered the vault, where everything was also fine. The money was there, the bank's security system was down. In fact, everything was just as he planned. He started counting the money, but he knew he had to be quick. The paranoia was starting to get to him. He shoved the cash in his duffel bag and swiftly left the vault. For Ren Xiaofeng, it was good to be the man in charge. It made robbing the Agricultural Bank of China that much easier. But he still had to be careful. He wasn't out of the woods yet. He cautiously made his way to his car, but then suddenly, flashlights. It was the two security guards. They had spotted him. They glanced down at his duffel bag and asked if he got the money. You see, it was... No, the duffel bag was empty. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, yeah. There's no way that he stole that amount of money from a bank in a duffel bag. It's, it's, it's clearly just his work stuff. It's fine. I mean, there's probably just books in there. Yeah, dogs and cats in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dogs and cats. <laughs> it's, it's his lunch. It's his. It's his. I don't know. His books. His paperwork. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it could be anything in that bag. Like, the family this... dogs in there. No problem. Yeah, you can definitely fit like two, two German shepherds in there, two um, Persian cats in there. Definitely a few books and a few pens. Two Siberian tigers, everything, you know? Yeah, exactly! Exactly, all the vibes. Yeah! Smart to enlist the help of the two security guards, as it made him feel safer. He dumped the bag of cash in the car and made no attempt at a getaway. Not yet, because his shift wasn't over. As vault manager, he still had about an hour left on the clock. The next day, at home, he was relieved. He had the cash. In his possession was 200,000 yuan which actually wasn't all that much. At the time, this was the equivalent of about 26,000 US dollars. Yeah, that's nothing. That is nothing. Like I said, it can't, there's no way it's cash. <laughs> what do you think it was? What do you think it is? Gold bricks? Yeah, exactly. Could be anything, like it. Oh God! It could even be a jar of Nutella. 
even though that's not Nutella. Nice, I don't care. Anyways, why didn't it play? Now, however, this wasn't the end of his plan. Later that day, he made his way down the street to a lottery vendor where he purchased a large quantity of- Why would you do that? Why lottery tickets? Why would you do that? So wait, 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 wait. Let me get something straight here. You take, you take 200 and 200,000 yuan just to buy lottery tickets. I would Why? Buy a I would just buy a house in a different country and a plane ticket. <laughs> Zach! <laughs> like, like why? why are you buying lottery tickets for? Like, I don't know, if he, maybe he's trying to get more money. Maybe that's what he's trying to do. Like, you, if you want to do that, you might as well gamble instead of just buying lottery tickets. Or maybe it could it could it be the reason that even though he took that two thousand yuan, could he be smart though? Because what like, do you mean? What would he do with the lottery tickets? Supposing if he gets that amount of money back again, mm -hmm. he takes it to the place and he puts that money back. Could it be that as well? Because if it is. Then what's, what was the point? What was the point in getting it in the first place to buy lottery tickets just to put the money back? Mm, I mean, that, that's what I'm thinking. Unless, like, if I if I was him and I had to put the money back, I would gamble to try yeah. and make the money back or invest mm. invest the money somewhere until I get the right amount to give back to the bank. But yeah, but the main know. question is. Why take the money in the first place if you're bank manager? I mean, it, it, is, it is a clever idea. You're bank manager and you're in a bank alone with two security guards who's obviously in on the job. But it's a bit suspicious, though, why you would buy a large sum of lottery mm -hmm. tickets. I mean, wouldn't wouldn't the lottery ticket owner be a bit suspicious on where he's getting all that money from? Yeah. I, I mean, mean if I was that, that, if if I was that guy, I'd be like, I'm not gonna say anything, and then I'll I'll, I'll ring the police because I'm a bit I would be a bit suspicious on how we got all this money just for lottery tickets. Yeah. <sighs> of lottery tickets. He did the same across the city, across Handan, with numerous vendors buying in bulk. For this was his plan. He was using the stolen money to buy lottery tickets in the hopes of winning a sufficiently large prize, large enough to be able <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Why do they have to put Mr. Beast in the video? <laughs> <laughs> able to return the missing funds before anyone noticed they were missing. The idea was to still have money left over for himself. That was his plan. And if you haven't already figured it out, that is a stupid plan. Why? Well, yeah, That's what I said! It's a stupid plan! It's so dumb. Because like, like I said earlier, the lottery ticket owner would be suspicious on how we had all that money. So obviously yeah, it's a stupid to, idea. But Luca, you went to a bunch of different ones in different cities. Yeah, so, so, like, yeah exactly. So yeah. They're, they're all thinking the same. Oh, how did he get the money? Oh, how did yeah. he get this? How, where did he get it from? I mean... Like, what would they even say to the police? Like, oh, a man came. Like, if they just kept saying that this man just came and purchased a lot of lottery tickets. Like, it doesn't really sound that suspicious, but, like, I don't know. Mm. It's a bit, it's a, it's a really stupid plan. I would just invest the money and then... Yeah, exactly. 
Mm-hmm. Or if this, or if I was bank manager at a at a at a thing and I wanted to do a heist, I would take one chunk of that money, and then if I get that money back, I'll put it back, and it's that simple. But for him to take. 200,000 200, yuan, that's stupid, just to waste it on on lottery tickets and then keep half of that money for himself. Mm-hmm. It's a bit dumb. I'm, I'm sorry, but what, what goes in to people's heads when they do these heists? How, yeah. stu- how stupid can they be? Not in, like, I don't know. I would understand if he stole the money to pay for like his kids' education or like pay like their loans and stuff, their debts, whatever. But to buy lottery tickets is a bit stupid. Like, why would you do that? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it is a bit dumb. But mm-hmm. it's like, like you said, it is understandable if he's taking that money for his family and helping them out because. Mm-hmm. Because I don't, if you, if you're bank manager at a bank, you probably don't get paid that much, do you? Probably, I don't know. I have no idea. But why take the money in the first place? That's, that's my concern. Let's find out what he's thinking. Let's watch Mm. first. Because the math simply doesn't add up. Lottery tickets are designed to cost more than the expected gain. The chances of winning back more than you put in, and on this sort of scale, is extremely low. If it were that simple, then everyone would be doing it. Despite the stereotype, this wasn't apparent to Ren. Now you saw the title of this video, this is meant to be a great heist. And well, part of the reason that's the case is because despite the unfavorable odds, Ren won. The plan actually worked. He was able to return the 200,000 back to the vault and still pocket a large sum himself. It all went smoothly, swift and efficient, like a snap of a finger. Celebrations were abound as the heist was a genuine success. And so with the banking staff none the wiser, Ren settled back and watched the sunrise. Now some people would move on, but not him. Five months later, in March 2000, No comment. (laughs) Please don't tell me he's gonna do it again. (laughs) (laughs) Five months later, he settles down for five months. He's got the money, he's all good. Guys, let's go buy some more lottery tickets now. (laughs) Five months later, do the exact same thing. Saying this story to the police. So, guys, I robbed the bank, bought a lot of <laughs> money back, and now I'm gonna do it again. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. But wouldn't that be a clever idea at the exact same time? Because you take 2,000 yuan, mm-hmm. buy it on lottery tickets, and then put the money back. Does that still. Does that still yeah, count as you being a thief? Again. He won the money. He has the money he needed. So why is he gonna go do it again? Like, yeah, but yeah, but think, think, think about it this way. Isn't that just a clever idea? Because you take that amount of money just to buy some lottery tickets and then put it back in the bank. Would that still count as theft? Well, yeah. But you put the money back, though. Yeah, but he still stole it in the first place. I mean, it's a clever idea. Why? I mean, why doesn't anyone? Why doesn't anyone ever think about that? What gambling and then putting the money back in the bank when you when you win? Exactly. <laughs> Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should try it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm and then we'll go to the police the we, next day. Oh, yeah, we, 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 we stole the money later. and we put it back to so don't worry. There's no need to arrest us. Guys, don't arrest us. We put the money back. Don't worry. <laughs> we, we, just, we just bought some Disneyland tickets now, but don't worry. 
2007, emboldened by his initial success, he felt it was time for a round two. This time though, his ambition was much greater. The Agricultural Bank of China, after all, was one of the big four banks in China, and their vaults were loaded. He wanted more. So much more, in fact. Can I just say, that's the face. <laughs> Why is he sweating? <laughs> that's the face of a man that just bought lottery tickets. <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't do it alone. He still had the two security guards in his back pocket, but they were just lookouts. He needed someone in bank who could help move the money and to shield his activity from the rest of the staff, at least till they could return the funds. The missing 200,000 previously had gone unnoticed by the banking staff, but this time around- Well, obviously the main reason how it went out unnoticed was because he paused the footage. Because... Yeah, he stopped the cameras. Yeah, but... <laughs> yeah, but that, that, that actually triggers me a little bit, though. If he takes some money, and then he doesn't leave straight away, because he still had an hour left of his shift, what did he do with the footage, then? Well, obviously, as he has the two security security guards on his side, so obviously they helped him out with with getting rid of the footage or whatever. True. Around if say Ren were to wipe out fifty percent of all money in the vault, it would be obvious. Now there was only one person Ren had his eye on, and that was Ma, the other vault manager as he, of all people, was sure to notice the missing funds. And so he had to bring him on board. This was certainly a risk, but fortunately for Ren, Ma was game. And game. Ren and Ma. Can I, can I just say? Ow, 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 ow. Oh, your ankle? No, I had this in my foot. What is that? A needle. Nah, a needle. <laughs> and yeah, my ankle, my ankle still does hurt. Still hurts a bit, which is horrible. But anyways, that's not part of the video. Can I just say one thing about this picture here? What? I love the fact that he has a straight face and then as soon as he tells him the master plan he smiles <laughs> <laughs> is he really is he i'm sorry but is he really going to go for a round two well now he has the other guy on his side so obviously he's gonna have to yeah but because because if he doesn't if he doesn't ma already knows that knows his plan so he can report him so now he's going to have to go through it, through with it. You know, I, I bet you I, I can just, just judging by that picture, I can already tell you guys what, what he said to him. Hey, 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 Ma, hey, I'm going to rob the bank. But, but, but you have to, you have to go along with it. If you tell the police, I'll, I'll kill you. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll find you. I will look for you and I'll kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Radio, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> they have to be the world's most stupid. I mean, there are stupider criminals out there, but they have to be the world's most stupidest Chinese criminals. Yeah, but I still want to know why this is the greatest, the greatest bank heist in Chinese history. Like, yeah, but yeah, exactly. Why take that amount of money and then put it back and then do the same five months later? Because he got greedy. He won more money. I, I, I swear to God, if there's a round three of this, I'm literally gonna run out the window. <laughs>
Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, it was time. Huh? I said I would do that as well, but I'm on the second floor and I don't really want to. Even though I'm on the first floor, my window opens that way and I have to climb up to get over the window. So I ain't gonna do that. Time for the heist. Wait. The second heist. This one last. Can I just say I, I love this building here? Mm hmm. Hmm. What could that T represent? What mm -hmm. starts with T? <gasps> Taco Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first thing that came into my head. I like how I go Titan and you go Taco Tuesday. Titan's Tower. <laughs> Titan's Taco Tuesday. All, all you have to do is cut this bit off, and then just, all you have to do is just like literally cut this bit off, this bit here as well, and then boom, you have Titan's Tower. That's that's so good Tuesday, my boy. Wait, what day are we? I mean, we are a Tuesday. It's Taco Bell. That's the, that's what that's that's the building. <laughs> Taco Bell headquarters. Headquarters <laughs> in China. <laughs> Even though it's a longer. Mexican restaurant. During the month. Yeah. <laughs> of March and April, Ren and Ma secretly carted out over two tons of cash the equivalent of 33 so wait so round one you take how much was i again 220 something 200 ye 200,000 ye yuan and here you take 33 million this amount yuan you just take more than the, than the previous heist What's the point in that? How are you going to... Oh, wait, yeah. I, I remember. They're going to use raffle tickets again, aren't they? <laughs> now there's two of them to get the lottery tickets together. They're going to hold hands while they do it. <laughs> so this is my fiancé. <laughs> Here's the ring. <laughs> oh, my God. People are so dumb. 3 million yuan, or Which at the time, 4.3 million US dollars. Oh, now, by this point, million. the inconsistencies were adding up, and despite bringing Ma in, some of the staff members were starting to notice. I told you at some point someone would notice! Well, yeah, obviously. Because obviously, obviously, you take that amount of money, you really think no one's going to notice. But it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. I mean, in my opinion, if I was to do a round two of that, I would take the same amount. One bit. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> so dumb. People are dumb in general. It wasn't long before police were notified. This was looking bad. But as vault managers, Ren and Ma were able to use their sway and come up with temporary excuses which everyone seemed to buy. They insisted this sort of misplacement error happens from time to time, and that it was no big deal. The money was sure to turn up sooner rather than later. Of course, this was their attempt at buying time, as they had yet to scratch out all their lottery tickets, and it was a long- Let me guess, did they win? <laughs> Guess what? They won again. Now That's all three. I care about. Did they win again? <laughs> now round three. A <laughs> lot of tickets. 33 million won worth of piles and piles that would put Mr. Beast to shame. Over the many weeks, the two bought and scratched out lottery tickets on an unprecedented scale. Now, this time, shockingly, the lottery did what lotteries are supposed to. And they lost it all. Unsurprisingly, police became increasingly suspicious as the inconsistencies persisted. It didn't fix itself as they- Anyways, guys, we'll be back in a second. Look, I just know for a fact that for them, for stupidly, 
for them to take that amount, that amount of money, there'd be no way for them to get all that money back. Because, like, what are they thinking? And now, there's no way of them to put the money back. <sighs> Why are people stupid? Akira. Akira, yeah. please explain to me why they're dumb. You haven't met a dumb Asian? Well, now you have. <laughs> Did you notice that they put an Asian joke in the beginning of the video? I mean, it was like, um, Asians are supposed to be smart or something like that. Asians are good at math. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's the one, that's the one. <laughs> oh, clearly they're not. <laughs> if they can win one time, then it's obvious. If they're good at math, right, they can win a second time. Well, I want to see something. What happened? I want to see something. Hold on. What are you seeing? I want to see what the chances are of winning the lottery. What are the chances? Anyways, well, let's continue watching the video. I mean, I bet you it's not that high, though. I bet you it's like, it's probably like 50%. The chances, the chances in winning the lottery, the probability is 1 in 13.9 million. I would have said 50%, but that's... No, definitely not fifty percent. How many times have you won money from getting scratch cards? I've never bought a scratch card in my life before. Really? No, because they're just a waste of time. I think I've only won like, <clears throat> two or three times, but the most I've won was about five euros. <laughs> so for them to try and get all that money back, it's impossible. I mean, not gonna lie, I was amazed that he won the first time, though. Me as well. Because if he takes... He didn't have as much money, and this time he had more money, and he, he lost. Exactly. Which means now, there is no point in doing a round three. Or is there? Or is there? <laughs> Let's find out. In desperation, Ren and Stimpy, I mean, Ren and Ma came up with an ingenious solution, doubling down with heist number three. I mean, it was sure to work this time. It had to. Did he just call him Stimpy? <laughs> I know. This. Also, Ren and Stimpy, I mean, Ma. <laughs> what does it say at the bottom then? I know it is because I don't know what I'm gonna do. Wait, what does it say there? I know it is. This is gonna. He gonna says do. this is going to work, Rem. Um. I don't. I know it is. I, can't see I don't know I what do I'm gonna do if it doesn't. You're gonna go to prison. That's what you're gonna do. I'm sorry, but I actually want to find these two Asians and just... I, w I want to speak to them. I just want to have a conversation about this. Yeah, just, just be like, oh, are you Ren? Are you Ma? Oh, yeah. Basically, we're private investigators. We just want to know how you got away with that amount of money in the second round, but you didn't get it back. How? 
how did you stop the video at 555? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck? Anyways. <laughs> Anyways, let's continue. Let's continue the video. For the third heist, they stole a further 18 million won to... Question. Okay. Okay. Two million dollars. Okay. Okay. So first round, they took two hundred and twenty. Two hundred and twenty million. Two hundred thousand yuan, and that's just him alone. Second one, thirty-three million yuan. Yeah. And now eighteen. Million. Which is more than that one, and now this. <sighs> Obviously, they're not learning from their mistake. I swear well, to I God. Think, I think at this point, they were desperate to find the money so they don't get put in prison. Yeah, but think about it this way. They take that amount of money in the second heist. And it didn't work out. And now they're taking that amount of money. What are they trying to achieve? They're obviously trying to make money live fast. So I can put it back and get put in the prison. Obviously, they don't want to get put in jail, so they have to do what they have to do to try and stop the police from finding out what they've done. But well, they've already found out anyway because of the second round. It didn't say that. It just said that they lost, no? Yeah, they lost, but it's obvious that the police had already found out, but they don't know who did it. They said that they found out that the money was missing. Exactly, that, that's excuses. what I'm saying. They found out that the money was missing, but they don't know who but did they it. Made excuses. They made excuses, and they said that it happens from time to time where the money gets misplaced, and that it will show up again. Mm. Oh my god, this video is going to be so long. We're only six minutes in. And we've stopped the video about ten times. I mean, it's, at least we're talking about it. Just well, Anyways, time. let's continue watching this triggering video. 0.3 million US dollars and went and bought even more tickets. Unlike before, they were now on a serious time crunch and they didn't have the luxury of spreading out their activity over many weeks. They purchased all their tickets in just one single day and hurriedly scratched till their fingers bled. If you're wondering how the insane amount of ticket purchases were made without raising suspicion, well, that's because at the time, while China was transitioning to electronic, cash was still king. Now, at the end of the grueling day, this was their reality. Out of a total of 51 million won, 6.7 million US dollars, they were only able to recoup a total of 98,000 won, 12,700 dollars. Yep, they were screwed, and they finally knew it. On the plus side though, the city of Hunan reported record-breaking lottery ticket sales. Must have been some good marketing. On April 16th, the bank finally caught on to the legitimacy of the missing funds, as the vault managers could stall no more. The police immediately set out to arrest the duo for what was soon confirmed to be the largest bank heist in Chinese history, but they had already fled the city. They were, however, able to arrest a different duo, the supporting cast of the two security guards, who were none too pleased with the lack of forewarning given by their associates. Ren and Ma were all about saving themselves, having days earlier bought fake IDs before disappearing. This prompted an extensive nationwide manhunt, with China's public security ministry placing the two men on their most wanted list. A bounty was placed- uh, One question. I'm sorry, but it's Ren's idea. Shouldn't he have more money on his head because he's the most wanted? While Ma he does. has only done two heists. He does have more money on his head. No, because wait, because if wait, is he is that one two hundred thousand and his one's fifty thousand? Yeah. Oh, fair enough. I'm, I, I am stupid. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. On their heads, Blind. Ma fled north to the capital Beijing, yeah. while Ren made his way down to the Jiangsu province. Their if Ma went to Beijing, that's that's like that's not far from Ham Ham Ham. Why didn't they just go to like America or something? 
when no one knows who they are. Like no one knew, no one will know who they are. Exactly. Be smart about this. Go to a random place apart from China. Literally. I would go to Russia or something. Yeah. Well, Cyprus, like even Cyprus, because it's such a small island. Like no one's actually no, 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 no. Think about it, because this is it went all over the news. So if if they did go to if they if they did go to a different place or a different country police would still probably be on the lookout for these two people, even if they did go to another country. I think how it works is that, like, other countries don't really care about what's happening in different countries. Like, they're not on their wanted list. They're on China's wanted list. Mm, true. Faces were now plastered all over the news, which for Ma, being in a bustling city like Beijing, wasn't so great. Unsurprisingly, yeah, exactly. Idiots. Oh, Ma, he's, he's stupid. Yes, he was really stupid. Why do you do that? Because Beijing is one of the world's most busiest places in China. So he's he is really stupid to have gone there. So, in general, why go there? when you can go to a quiet place, settle down there for a few months, and everything dies down. But you're no, still be on the most wanted to, list. Yeah. You would have to move somewhere for good, because obviously something like this doesn't die down. Especially um, if it's known as the greatest bank heist. In yeah, China. and let me guess, he gets caught. In well, Beijing. Must... Two days later, he was caught and arrested. Two days Two later! later. One, the mastermind. Ren, who by now had made his way southwest by taxi to the coastal city of Yang. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <He's stupid. laughs> Why is he still in China? That's what I want to know. Exactly. Why are you still in China? Think, look, 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 he goes, he goes down, he goes down from here to there, and then he takes a taxi. All that money, taxi driver, suspicious. Yeah. Why didn't he leave the country already? I know, you had time to do it as well. <sighs> This video is triggering me a lot. Yeah, it's actually making me angry. Yungang, as China's most wanted, traveling 650 kilometers all by taxi was probably not the smartest decision, which he I eventually said. caught onto as he later swapped out the cab for a black Honda, which he made sure to have a sunroof because priorities. After purchasing the car from a dodgy car salesman, he realized he needed to quickly find a place to lay low. Using his fake ID, he rented a high-end apartment near the waterfront from his new landlord, which, along with his sunroof car, was seriously eating away at his reserves. It seemed, along with math, long-term planning wasn't his thing. But at least for now, it was time to kick back. Till things died down. Ex but he was wrong! <laughs> he got arrested! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Except it was already over because the police knew exactly where he was. It turned out that looking disheveled and unshaven for days and paying for everything from a bag full of cash was suspicious behavior news to him. It wasn't one person who notified police, it was three. The taxi driver, driver the landlord, salesman. and the dodgy car salesman. Indeed, it seemed the dodgy car salesman had come across someone far dodgier than himself. Since all three assisted with the capture, they ended up splitting the 200,000 won reward. Which for Ren, I guess was a fitting end, as just as it all started with 200,000, it has now ended with 200,000. With everyone captured, the manhunt was over. The two security guards were charged with misappropriating public funds and were sentenced to up to five years in prison. Ren and Ma were charged with embezzlement, and in court, the prosecution pushed for the harshest sentence under the law. That's... 
Wait, what? Ren in particular repented and tried to offer up advice on how the bank could prevent such theft from happening in the future. But unfortunately, it was all too late. <laughs> they were given the death penalty. And a year later, they were executed. As for the Agricultural Bank of China, they were embarrassed. They took action by firing five bank officials for negligence, including the vice president of the province branch, for essentially allowing three heists to take place under their watch. It was later revealed the bank hadn't even taken a cash inventory for years, and no one had ever checked the surveillance. So here's the moral of the story. Don't make the same mistake as the Agricultural Bank of China. Secure your system and protect your financial info. Anyways, we don't need to watch that. Clearly, the main moral of this story is don't be stupid and buy the lottery tickets. <laughs> See if you can win money back. <laughs> Everyone, if you're going to steal money from a bank, invest it. Or don't do um, it in the or just don't do it in the first place. Just ask, please. If you're gonna do it, good for you. We're not involved. <laughs> no, don't, don't tell them that you watched this video, but invest it. That's all I have to say. Invest the money. Or just don't rob a bank at all in general. Yeah, not very smart. But anyways, <laughs> if you guys have enjoyed this video and you want more of these Chinese, Japanese big stories or even North Korean stories for us to react to, if you want me to do it by myself or with the lovely Akira or James involved as well, let us know down in the comments section down below. Make sure you guys go press that subscribe button, press that bell icon next to the subscribe button, which will get you notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay awesome, boy, and stay cool, girl, and I'll see you guys in my next video.